everyone looks into swirl hair. Look what came in the mail. Actually it came in the mail yesterday. <laughs> I just got to it this morning. I have had a lot of stuff going on in my life right now and I will inject a little video clip of that here. Here they are trying to decide who's going to brush the other one. Yeah, so that's what's been happening in my life. And as a result, I am probably not going to get into the craft room all that much for a little while till we get to a routine that works for all of us. I have about six or seven videos you haven't seen yet um, scheduled for release. So that takes us to later on in March. And I, I'm hoping that you know, by then I will have figured out how to, to get some time back in my craft room like today. The kids are being really good in their crate right now, so I figured I would open this new March Wanderlust box from Mr. Nola's Glitter. And um, I, will, I will keep trying to do all my different craft ideas. I have, still have lots of ideas and we're going to have some projects in here probably. I just wanted to let you know that things, uh, my videos have dwindled down to about three a week at this point, and that's, those puppies are the reason. I just, I just am losing my mind taking care of them and getting to know them. <laughs> I must have been insane to get to, <laughs> but I did. So anyway, let us open our Wonderlust box. So here we go. All right, as you know, we get a postcard from our location. This looks very, very oh, Lego-y or Candyland-ish. Let's see if I can get you a look. I will say that. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Let's see if I can focus the camera and then hopefully refocus it so that you can see more. Okay. So let's see what it says. It is Candyland Kingdom of Sweet. Okay. This is our passport stamp that I will put into my journal. I have to do an update on February's journaling at some point. I haven't gotten to that yet way behind. <laughs> hey travelers, we hope you brought your sweet tooth this month. We're going to Candyland. Inspired by the adorable board game of the same name, we hope you feel the same nostalgia and glee we felt while gathering this month's souvenirs. So take a walk with us on the rainbow path from the peppermint forest all the way to King Candy's castle and let the bright colors and confections rouse the crafty child within you. XOXO, wish you were here. Okay, let's see what we got. This looks like our clear cast from uh, Crafty Thriving. That is very pretty. I'm guessing these are supposed to be candy drips. What do you think? Let's see what it says here. Drips, frosting drips, holographic cast. A set of five, oh, these are holographic. Wow. So they'll, they'll have lots of shine. A set of five holographic flash drip wraps from our friends at Crafty Thriving. Use these wraps to add a little frosting to your cups or other candy themed projects. Okay, and now the dreaded grass. Alrighty. So let's see what we got. More grass. Ooh, a tumbler. Look, oh, it's a Disney Mickey Mouse tumbler uh, that you can do a storyboard with. I have never done one of these. That would be a major undertaking for me, I suspect. Okay, these are very cool. I think this is a seal. I'll put that back in there. So we have, it's a double walled plastic cup and you can inject the fluid into here with a ton of glitter and then it floats around. So obviously that will be a project we'll have to do. Um, again, thinking about the puppies, not sure when I'm gonna get to it, but I will try, I promise, because I wanna try one of these anyway. This is perfect. The inside we got, ooh, look, we got some sparkle makeup brushes. Perfect for applying mica powders to molds and a lot of people i've also discovered use these for putting um for applying mod podge to tumblers 
they just they put it on very uh, streak free so you can use these for a lot of things i tend to use them for mica powders in brushing into molds so that's i love these brushes okay let's see what it says about the cup and the brushes can uh, cotton candy ears acrylic cup value seven dollars this adorable 15 ounce acrylic cup comes in pastel cotton candy shades Use it as is or give it some pizzazz by adding the two sweet vinyl stickers. And I guess we're going to get some vinyl. Well, we have these. We'll have to see if there's anything else in there. And then Sweet Sprinkles brush set. Okay, so there are sprinkles in the handle. The last set I got in that Craft Haven craft kit box I unboxed that I haven't done anything with yet. Um, they had empty handles that you could also put sprinkles in. I just didn't do that particular craft. These come with sprinkles added. I suspect we could take them out and refill it with something else if, if there was any desire to do so. This is um, a set of bright sprinkle filled makeup brushes for use on yourself. Oh, there's a thought. I haven't tried <laughs> makeup brushes on my face. <gasps> Uh, for use on yourself or crafty projects, Mrs. Nola loves using these super soft brushes to create a wood grain effect using alcohol ink. So there's something else you can do. Brown alcohol ink on a white cup or any other color, honestly. Any other color ink and cup and you just brush the alcohol ink on and you get a wood grain effect. All right, good to know. I have not done a wood grain cup either. Let's see what's next. Oh my gosh. We get five glitters this time, you guys. Holy kerp. <laughs> Holy kerp. Okay, let's put these aside and take a look at each one. Okay, so Candy Castle. There we go. The Candyland Collection. A collection of holographic chunkies. Oh, fantastic. Holographic chunky fine glitter mix with silver foil flakes that come in wanderlust jars. Those are their signature jars with a beautiful silver band. Uh, these unique mixes are made with square-shaped flakes inspired by the colored squares on the playing cards. Okay. Candy Castle. Two ounces of bright magenta glitter that will have you dreaming of grape-flavored connections. Confections, sorry. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, Candy Castle. That's this one. Oh, yeah. All righty. So we have these beautiful, beautiful flakes, silver and holographic. And yep, you can see the square. I think you can anyway. You can see the square flakes and lots of silver flakes in there. Beautiful. Then we have Licorice Lagoon. This is two ounces of a deep blue glitter reminiscent of all our favorite blue raspberry treats. Okay. I'm not sure I have any favorite blue raspberry treats, but I love blue. Wow, these are really full too. That is gorgeous. Again, square glitter in there. Holographic and silver. Beautiful. Lollipop Woods. Two ounces of a true vibrant red glitter as sweet as cherry as a cherry lollipop. Okay. There we go. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, Lemon Drop Lane. Two ounces of a sweet and sour golden yellow glitter. I this is definitely holographic. Look at that. Apparently they all are, but this one is really looking holographic. I suspect there's some gold in here. Okay, really, really gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is Gummy Hills. Two ounces of a brilliant deep orange glitter that'll get stuck in your teeth like a dot. Oh boy. I certainly have lots of stuck in my teeth memories of all the kid, uh, candy I ate as a kid. Here we go. Yep, deep orange. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I can't wait to use these. And now, oh, there's the, there's the straw for the cup. That's good. Here are some, ooh, candy stickers. Two sweet, oh, they're vinyl stickers. Two sweet vinyl sticker pack. 
From cute candy to lickable lollipops, all 50 of these brightly colored, high quality vinyl stickers will be the perfect addition to your sugary crafts. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at all the different candies. These are so cool, and they're beautiful colored stickers. So these could go on the cup. They could go on. They could go on anything into coaster molds, into trays. Pretty much anywhere you can put a sticker, huh? Definitely put a couple in my journal. These are fantastic. And next up is a beaded keychain kit. Okay, so there's an acrylic blank. Let's read it first. As sweet as candy beaded keychain set, a perfectly curated set of three gumball beads, keychain hardware, pre-cut jewelry string, and a two inch acrylic blank. Follow the link on the insert for the cut file and more information about the company we've partnered with on this project. Zindi, okay, I've heard of Zindi. A lot of people get their acrylic blanks from Zindi. They come in all different shapes. All right, so this is an acrylic blank, meaning it's a piece of clear acrylic and it's protected right now with craft paper stuck to both sides. And you peel that off each side as you go. You can put resin on it, UV or epoxy resin and glitter and uh, pretty much anything else you want. And apparently they have a cut file, so there's something already predetermined for this shape. I'll have to go investigate that. Yeah, okay. So if you take, if you peel the paper off, you get a clear piece of acrylic underneath. It's got a hole drilled in it already for the keychain hardware. Okay, so there's that. We get the three beads. Those are cute. And here's the link to the file. And there is the hardware. And here is the pre-cut. I don't know if you can even see this. It looks like a very, 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 very super thin uh, clear spaghetti. <laughs> but that would be the chain to string the beads and everything with. So there's that. And oh, look, we got a bottle of UV resin. Hot diggity dog. Clear and hard. There is soft UV resin and hard UV resin. I have not tried both of them side by side to see what's what. A 15 gram bottle of one part resin that cures with UV light, not included, or direct sunlight, which we have here. I have a UV light as well. Perfect for use on the acrylic blanks included with your As Sweet As Candy keychain kit. So, peel off the backing, you can put the UV resin on and add sparkles or alcohol ink if you want or anything else. You can put something on the blank and then cover it with the UV resin. As long as you cure it with a black light or sunshine outside or in your window, uh, the UV resin hardens just like epoxy resin and will protect everything underneath it. And lastly, we have Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush candy shape. Oh, here we go. You know, it's funny. I saw one of those candy shapes that came with my, that came inside the box. I don't know if you can, if you can see this. When I opened the box, that candy shape fell out. So I kind of had a suspicion there were some more in the box. So those are our beautiful candy, wrapped candy shapes. 0.5 ounce, so half an ounce, pack of sweet little laser rainbow candy shapes that will give anyone a sweet tooth. Those are beautiful. I have to use those in something. They could go in here in the solution. They could go on the acrylic blank with some UV resin. Uh, they could go on a cup. They could go anywhere you use glitter, basically. Let's assess everything here. We got our five, five fantastic candy-related glitters. We got our mouse ears cup, double-walled plastic cup and straw. UV resin, got a bead keychain kit with an acrylic blank and the hardware. We got candy shaped stickers, candy shaped stickers and candy shaped glitter. We got our makeup brushes with sprinkles in the handles. And we got our drips from Crafty Thriving. Fantastic. So there you have this, 
this month's box. This is March 2021. Mr. Nolo's Glitter Wanderlust box. Trip to Candyland. I have to figure out which project I'm gonna try first. We could do, maybe I'll do the, the keychain. I don't know. That would probably be the place to start because I think there's everything here I need to do that. So stay tuned for our first project. I appreciate you all joining me today for this great unboxing. Stay safe, everyone. I will see you in the next video.